spoiler alert, if you want to see an epic golf meltdown, this video is for you. We're at Bally Pulling Golf Course just outside of New York City, ready to crush some golf, or at least that's the plan. jacket is off um, I am very cold so we're gonna try and play these nine holes rather quickly it is a pretty wide open fairway I don't actually see the pin from here I'm assuming it goes off to the left a little bit should be a fairly easily birdie hole let's kick one out there Let's go run. Thank goodness I bought this beanie in the pro shop. I'm actually like 10 times warmer than I was when I was warming up. As a true Floridian, playing golf in 50 degree overcast is extremely bold. But you know how we're gonna stay warm? We're gonna play some good golf with good breeze. And crap, it is car path only. Cause it's been raining. I feel like I tend to do this. I like go either in the wrong spots where the carts get turned off or in between bunkers. Like my first video at Abacoa. We uh, live and we learn. No. We're in the bunker and we're really far out and it's really cold. The cart says 145 or probably 160. Right, uh, wind right to left. Playing about 160. Probably hit the seven. We'll bring the six with us just in case. All right, we're hitting the seven. Got to get over this hill in front of us. Bunker shot, a little up the hill. We got to pick this clean. We're picking her clean. I can't even see where the pin is. Weather. If you hit a shot thin, it hurts. We don't like to lay up on par fours, but unfortunately that's what we're doing today. I forgot to tell you guys, these are rental set, but they are the Rogue STs, which are the same exact clubs I play at home or that's in my bag. I did not bring my golf shoes. So we're actually playing in tennis shoes and they're actually like half a size too big. I'm not making excuses. I'm just saying. We'll have 100 yards in, as I said. We don't usually like to lay up on uh, part fours. That's just what we're working with. Can I move it? <laughs> we are 100 yards out from the pin. It's uphill lie. I'm hitting the 58 degree wedge that is in this rental set. This is a really good rental set, by the way. The wind's a little right to left. I'm just gonna aim right at the pin. Wedge. We're struggling on this first hole. We're gonna need a lot of birdies coming up if uh, we want to shoot anything decent on this back nine. I feel like I barely got halfway to the hole. It's okay. It's the first hole. We're learning the clubs. We're learning the course. The greens do look really fast, which I'm in favor of. We just need a good little chip and a putt and get it out of here for the bogey. So we want to kind of land it at the front of the green and let it release right to the pin. This is not good. I would love to give cold weather as an excuse, but I'm not going to be that person today. The feel's just not here. I would love to say that we're looking at the very positive and get to sink a 40 footer on the first hole to save bogey. But unfortunately, that's not where we're at. A little left to right. I think the PGA Tour chances of making a putt this long is like, I don't know, 0.5%. Close, but not close. 
close enough. Quite disappointing, I gotta say, to start off your round with a double. It is what it is. I do gotta say the views are keeping the vibes up quite a bit. Is the weather? Yes, because it's not raining. Are we happy? Yes, because guess what? We're here in right outside of the city playing an incredible golf course. And even if I do get doubles on every single hole in the back nine, I still gotta look at the bright side. Will I throw some clubs? Maybe. We're still gonna make the most of it. Am I low-key pissed? Yeah. <laughs> but it's still really hard to be mad when the golf course you're on is so pure, so. Hole number two, or 11. Let's uh, make a quick birdie and turn uh, that scorecard around. Hole 11, part four, into the wind. It's gonna be quite a long hole. It looks like there's a lot of bunkers up left. I do not believe I can reach the bunkers up on the right. So I think hitting it out to the right a little bit is a safe play. Let's try and actually course manage this hole so we can make a par better. <laughs> did clear the two bunkers. I don't know if it rolled into that longer bunker down the left side of the fairway, but let's go up there and check it out. <laughs> All right, we're just in front of the bunker here. It was about 100 yards from the cart. I'm gonna guess it's around 100. The wind is hurting a little bit. It's false front green. We wanna make sure we're in the middle of the green. We have a soft pitching wedge in the hand out of the rough, so it might fly a bit. Hard to tell. Way over the green. I hit that wedge so good too. I just had a little bit too much juice on it. Went over the green. I am kind of happy with uh, how pure that shot was though. You could actually see exactly where I hit it right on the face. Dead center. I really juiced up that pitching wedge, I guess, because I don't even nasty lie. Did I say I like playing solid courses in this video yet? Because I thought I did until the first two holes. <laughs> Come on Gabs, we need a little savior here. I'm just going to try and pitch it out to that hill. At least I can say I had fun. We're having so much fun. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of like the Link style for sure, Friar's Head. Like Friar's Head is Link style. And Friar's Head's my favorite golf course. All right, we're on hole 12 now, par three, 120 to the pin, wind is left to right. We just need to float a pitching wedge up there. All right, we are exactly in the middle of the green, right where I am. The wind did not do anything to that. We'll take it. Let's get a two putt and get out of here. Valley Golf Links is obviously a Lynx course, which is super sweet because this is not something you normally see in Florida. It's very exciting. I have actually a better putt than we thought. It is a little bit downhill. Let's just try and get it closer, knock it in. This is looking like a little bit of a double breaker. I have a feeling it's gonna break a little bit more left at the beginning of the putt, but we're gonna go just like right edge with good pace, a little up the hill then down the hill. All right, I pulled it, as I said before, now the putters aren't my strong suit, but we're not making any three putts today. That's the goal. Good for par. Let's go on hole 13. 
we just pulled up to the tea box on hole 13. This is the hole. This might be one of the most beautiful holes I think I've ever played. Par four, we're gonna bomb one out there. It's downwind and let's go make a birdie. shot to seven feet. <laughs> we are in the perfect position for this hole. Uh, it's about 105 downwind. We are just going to hit a soft pitching wedge, so this is going to take a lot of feel. Hopefully we get this close. I have a feeling that went a little bit too far. Uh, let's go up there and check it out. <laughs> Hi, Gianno! <laughs> puppy love. You know, as a new dog mom, I can't not say hi to any puppies. We love puppies. I did have a little too much juice on that one. We didn't kill anybody, which is great, or any dogs. We're just gonna try and bump and run it up. We don't have much green to work with. The greens are fast. Praying it goes in. Got a little scared because we put too much juice on the last shot and we chipped it short. Up the hill, a little left to right. We're gonna just try and make this putt. Stay. All right, it was a good roll. Just didn't play enough for the break. All right, unfortunately we made a bogey on the signature hole out here, but I gotta say the views kind of keep the smile on my face. Hole 14, par four, into the wind, a little left to right. Let's just bomb one out there. We are in perfect position out to the left of the fairway. It is into the wind. We do need to make up for the bogey on the last hole. So let's go and try and make a birdie. We are 185 yards out drive was in a perfect position as I said and thought on the tee box. We're gonna hit the four hybrid. To be honest, I'm not super confident with hybrids in the hand. If I don't get over this hill that's in front of me, I might be super dramatic about it. My one goal is to get up on that green. Oh my gosh, you're kidding. We don't like to lay up on par fours, but unfortunately we have on this one. We don't like to lay up on par fours, but unfortunately, that's what we're doing today. Hi! Good girl! I hate hybrids. I know I came up on that, but I don't care. I just don't enjoy hitting hybrids. But we're at the lucky number 140, which is a nice little soft nine iron. And we're going to stick this close. Rogues are the best because I know how much forgiveness I have when I hit the ball. Obviously, when I hit this right onto the green, I hit it super high, but I tend to spin it less in the air, so I knew it was going to be the right distance either way. And we got about a 15, 20 footer to make for par. This is definitely a right to left putt, a little up the hill. We really need to make some birdies, especially after bogeying the last couple holes. Did I bogey the last hole? <laughs> okay. Okay, I've been trying to keep it peppy the last couple holes. I just realized I have four holes to go and I'm six over par. Am I grateful to be out here? Yes. But is my competitive nature coming out? Yes. We are now on a par five. It is time to go hard or go home. So we're gonna really focus on this hole and really try to strive or aim for a, at least a birdie, but ultimately an eagle. 
come on. I need some clapping right now because it's go time. Hit a perfect draw right down the center. It should roll out. Have a absolute golden shot to the green to have an opportunity for eagle. It's time to focus. Down to the dirty, four holes left. I know I've said this before, but confidence is key. That might be my new tagline, to be honest. We're on this par five, four holes to go. I have to have the confidence in myself that I can make an eagle or birdie on the sex couples. It was a rough start to the nine holes. I can't, like, I'm not gonna lie. You guys saw I had double, double, bogey, bogey. Like, it was a rough start, but we have plenty of holes left to make a comeback, and that's what my goal is. So, we're turning on the focus mode. We just need a couple birdies. <laughs> the cart says 240, it is downwind. Oh, we're gonna hit three wood up there. Looks like there's some hills behind the green. I'd rather be up as close as I can. We didn't get it up in the air how I wanted to, but we got a good kick off the top of the middle bunker out there. We should have an easy chip and a putt to hopefully make a birdie and have a little bit of a comeback. The greens are releasing. Try and leave it. We have plenty of green to work with to have us have a close putt to make birdie. Alright, the greens are faster than I think. I don't know about you. I feel like I'm not in the United States playing a golf course in the cold and the rain and the greens are fast. Where would you feel like if you had these conditions? All right, par, three holes to go. Par four, sick hole. We got the water right behind the pin back there. We have the bridge over to the right. All right, a little to the right, but I think there's an opening up there. We should have a solid entrance to the green. 154 to the middle of the green. We got the trusty eight. I get there should have an easy chip and a putt to the green and maybe we just chip in we really need a birdie <laughs> all right look i'm sorry i definitely did not have as much energy on that last shot we're going back to my saying confidence is key did i have that much confidence on the last shot probably not but guess what we're here we're right outside of new york city it's not raining so we have the opportunity to come out here and film some amazing golf for you. Is it great golf? No, but we're having fun. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. So eight iron, I thought I hit it pure. Like I really thought I hit it pure. I thought it was gonna be over the green actually, but we ended up just short, which is completely fine. We're just gonna have a little chip and a putt. And guess what? I'm gonna do my best to make this putt for you guys because we need the energy rolling. So let's go. But that's fine. Let's make this quick par and get to our last two holes. And oh, next hole's par three. We know I love par threes. Taking the par, baby. Par is good. Par is always good. Sometimes bogeys are good too, just depending on the situation. All right, off to the last two holes here at Valley Golf Links. Very point. I'd just be really happy to make a birdie at these nine holes. You guys, I know you're just looking at my face and my view right now. Just look at this. Are you kidding me? Say what? How sick is this golf course? All right, 156 to the middle of the green, 160-ish to the pin. Wind is hurting right to left. We're gonna go with a smooth six. All right, the wind died down a little bit. We're actually gonna hit the seven. The wind got it. So we are off to the left of the green, but
but we do have plenty of green to work with. All right. Obviously, we get a drop out of the sprinkler head, unless you guys want to see me try and hit it out of the sprinkler heads. It's cold. What's the song that they sing in the holidays? Baby, it's cold outside. <laughs> Little chip here, up the hill, then down the hill. Let's just get it close. Especially on this course and the conditions we're at. It's not too long of a putt. Take an easy par. Hey, I might have to put the mallet putter in the bag. I really might. To have the confidence to walk up to a five footer and make it, I don't even know if I have that much confidence with my blade putter. We might have to put this two ball 10 in the bag. What do you guys think? What kind of putter do you use? All right, last hole of the day. We are on hole 18, uh, par five. So, as much as I don't like saying I'm six over through nine, we have an opportunity here and we're gonna go for it. Perfect kick down the hill, it's eagle time. Smash that. I'm 215 out. Downwind. We're gonna hit the honestly, you know what? We're gonna just hit the five iron. If I'm short, I'm sure I just have a little more confidence with the five iron. And again, to say it all day, confidence is key. Alright, I've been hitting the draws all day, whether I like it or not. We are on an uphill lie, so that means automatically the ball is gonna want to go a little more left. We're gonna aim at the left side of the middle bunker up there and he slings in. Of course I hit a cut right into the middle of the green bunker. That's literally a bunker in the middle of the green. I guess we need some bunker practice. This would have been absolutely perfect distance. Just couldn't get the draw on it. Guess what? That's why I'm not a professional golfer. That's why I'm a YouTube golfer. <laughs> Shot with a 58. I'm used to the 60, but we just want to pop it out. Any out is a good out. And that's what I've been taught since day one of Bunker Play. All right. As I said, any out is a good out chance for a birdie. Honestly, making a birdie on the last hole of the day would make my day. So we're gonna actually really focus on this putt, make sure we sink it. Pin out, lining her up. Oh, end over end. Yes. As brutal as a round that this started out as, we gotta say it ended Pretty freaking amazing. I made a brilliant last hole with the most incredible view on the last hole. Par five, love par fives. As much as par threes, I don't know. Who doesn't love to end their round on a birdie? I gotta say, that's gonna keep me smiling until the next time I come out and golf and make a double on the first hole. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more.